Okay, we're going up to the third floor. Wow, I love these walls. Okay, we're on the third floor. Is this the artist studio? Yes, this is where he created all the paintings. Wow, what a great room. Large windows along the wall here. Huge, like six foot high windows. Okay, what work did you do in here, RJ? In here, we reframed this wall because when they added this wall to sheetrock, it was three inch sheetrock spanned on like two and a half foot wide joists, and it was all buckly. Buckly, so we put it in at 16 on center and used half 16 inches on center. 16 inches on center. So each of the studs is 16 <laughs> inches apart. Okay. And how half thick inch. is the sheetrock now? Half inch. Half inch sheetrock. Good. Made it more rigid. Right. Nice and wall. So we, they had wallpaper on this wall. We removed it, skin coated the whole wall, and repainted it. Looks beautiful. Looks like new sheetrock. Right. And we just went over it. We didn't actually. Right. Very good. Excellent. Now these are, uh, what are these closets here? That's where he Dr stored all his materials. Wow. Excellent. And had probably had his supplies along that wall. Correct. So on the ceiling in this room are paintings of looks like cherubs or whatever we call these little angels, right? Yes. Here's Cupid right here. Innocence. They're all on a blue background, sky blue. What did you just tell me, Joe? That the I, well, phone? I, I had said that in my experience working here, there were times when the phone would ring, but there would actually be nobody on the other line. Really? No yes. kidding. And that's quite a few times, actually. And not even a sound? Not even a sound. Okay, in this closet, RJ, when he took down the uh, Yes, in the back of the third floor, that also had major work done. We oh. stored all the paintings in here. No, so this would have been on a uh, on ceiling? On the ceiling. Can you move this one away so I can get the rest of that? And these were all on the ceiling in the room that you remodeled. Correct. That you have not seen yet. Right. Okay. It was a very spiritual. This artist. has been uh, insulated. By the way, what insulation did you use on that other pitched room? In the pitched room, we used 38 in the ceiling, R19 in the walls, and R15 in the walls. Okay. It's a view of the property from this closet. <laughs> Okay, we're leaving the artist's room. Okay, this is what, a foyer to? Foyer, which used to lead to a door to the outside when this was a flat roof. I see. It was and now it's shut, and now it's a window. I see, okay. Right. All right, so this is an overhead view of the pitch roof that you put on. Correct. All right, and that's all flashing on the Correct. that I'm looking at at the corners. Okay, here's a view from the new replacement window. But by the way, that's a trap door up to a turret. Yes, it that's the seal. To a lookout, like a lookout tower. Okay. It sealed it all shut so no water could get in since no one's living in the house. Okay. Let's go. All right, this is the top side of that dumb waiter area. This would be converted into a, a flu chase with a supply in return from the heating boiler below. Okay, great. Now we're stepping on some of his 
insignia work done here. It says over 75 years military service, tank force. This is all about General Mullins who built the house. Tank force specialist. What does it say? Conspicuous. Conspicuous service cross. cross. I don't even know of that award. Look at this. World Wars one and two. Commended twice. Commended twice by Secretary of War. Secretary of War. Wow, that's incredible. You know, I don't know if this really adds any value to the home, but for some people, it might. What? These fixtures are throughout the home. Mezzanine room. Okay, this is the hallway. This is why I said it should. On the third be. floor. And the uh, and this area has also been painted. Freshly. Okay, here's another bedroom. Correct. Which we replaced all the sheetrock uh, because it was uh, the fireplace Here. flues going through the house because the flashing was all deteriorated, leaked, and caused water damage. So we replaced all the sheetrock. I see. Okay. And all of that has been repaired now. No right. other water problems or anything like that. Yeah. The house is sealed shut. The view from view, view to the outside. Yes. Also to that pitch. Yes. Even though it's a pitch roof. Uh, a rolled roof. Right. Because the pitch was a little shallow and there's a lot of snow up here, we we went with that because it'll last longer than a three tap shingle. Which the ice, if there's ice damage when it's cold and they cause ice damage, it'll get under and it'll still get inside. I see. It. So a rolled roof is the better is, application. Better application. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> okay, another interior room. Right, this would be also a, lots of closets. Library off of the. This could be another library area. Hmm. Okay, now as we're entering this room, uh, I noticed that this, the ceiling height of this entranceway. Is higher, so you rebuilt this. Yes, this we, entranceway. This entranceway was pretty much um, similar to the height of the other ones, but this one was actually a lot smaller. And because okay. it's a, a hallway as opposed to just a, a door frame, right? We increased the height so it's easier to walk through. I see. Okay. This entire room was reframed on all four walls and the ceiling. It's a beautiful room. And a lot because, of light. And There's skylight the, here. And because of the way the rafters were done, that's why the walls are a little jetted. Okay. So we kept it with the contour of the existing house. And that's the new roof. This also had a door. Again, this was the flat roof from below. Right. We converted this doorway to a, a window because now it has a pitched roof. It was a window that went to a balcony on top of the flat roof that's Yeah, and there was turrets on it, and you could actually go out there and stand out there. There's an I outlet see. out there. But it was causing water problems, so to eliminate that Because the flat roof was, potential. Okay. was no good. Okay. All right, great. You did a great job in here. So this is all new sheetrock, new framing, new sheetrock, new electric, new electric. Okay, everything's new in this room. Uh, I noticed that there are a lot of light switches. Yes, what the general did is he made each switch because he was an artist. He would have one light fixture accenting a painting, I so see. he put each outlet. To a switch. I see. So each each outlet in this particular room has its own is a, it has its own home run, so to speak. It's, okay. These aren't in series. They're it's a home run. I see. Okay. Like a kitchen is done. Right. Okay. Or when you have lots, of, and, lots of outlets. Right. So that's why. Um, otherwise, we would have had to run a whole other line. Again, to be cost efficient, we just left it the way it was. Okay. The 
from the new window in this room. Okay, this is the third full bathroom. Not a tub, but a shower. Stand up shower. As Stand is the one shower. in the first floor. Right. Toilet and sink. That's okay. Okay. Okay, show me the pressure on this. Good pressure, right? Yeah. Which, you, like you said, it would be because it's a well. Right, so it's going to be temporary okay. pressure until the well pump kicks in, fills up, and then you'll get a, a surge in pressure. I see. And a new owner should have it uh, checked out for adequate levels of chlorine, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And iron and copper or whatever. Okay. Chemicals for Joe, could you just shine the light on each of these fixtures, uh, each of these outlets for me? Starting from this one? Yeah, starting from that one. Great. There's one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight total. Eight total. Wow. Eight total. And the phone's ringing again. And, and there's the phone. There. It's the general. <laughs> the general's calling. 